Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're gonna to be doing what is the next big blessing coming towards you? Getting some positivity up in here. So we have the first card is Garnet, the next is Angelite, Bloodstone and Celestite, uh, group one, two, three and four. And if you see any beautiful crystals that you would like, all the crystals that I feature in my readings are you're able to purchase because now my online shop is open, yay! So my online shop will be linked down below. And also the bracelet I'm wearing is also, you can purchase these from my shop. You can have a custom bracelet made for you or you can ask me to intuitively choose a crystal for you or you can choose one for yourself. All crystals are good for any sort of purpose or if you just want one to look pretty. So thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with the reading. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what the next big blessing is coming towards you. So group number one, I feel like intuitively I just need to tune into your energy. I feel like for you guys, you might be feeling a bit scattered. Your energy might be a bit like everywhere. Okay, so that's what I feel like for you guys. I think you just need a bit of grounding. So we have Garnet and we also have Malachite. So both these crystals, very, very strong crystals. Garnet is really, really beautiful for passion. It's really good for relationships. It's also one of my fave crystals for love situation relationships. So basically if you're in a love situation where you're not sure where you're at with them, this is a really good crystal to have because it kind of gets you in your own energy without kind of thinking of them all the time and getting in their energy all the time. It's really focusing on yourself. So for you, I feel like your energy is really focusing on yourself, getting you to focus on yourself. I also have a love kit that's available on my website that has Garnet in it. It's from my love kit. It's for attracting love and it doesn't have to be a romantic love, but it's attracting all love into your life. And I do feel like you are attracting love into your life. And I think because you are attracting love, because you're transforming, that is how you're attracting love as well. So let's have a look and see what else is coming towards you. Let's go with these two. So... We have Bhavanesha, okay, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that. <laughs> then we have self-worth. So let me just go grab my book for this and then we will get into that. Okie dokie. So this, uh, this card here, let's see what this is all about. Let's have a look in the book, 107. So this is all about goddess of space and infinite possibilities. So. For you guys, sorry, I need to flip my screen up. So for you guys, there's definitely a lot of purple. I feel like for you guys, you are really, really, really transforming in your spiritual life. Um, when I say spiritual life, I feel like you guys are really creating space, um, creating space to kind of bring in the new. And I feel like for both of these being purple, and we do have the amethyst here, which I don't normally feature in a lot of my videos, it's mainly rose quartz, that basically you're coming to a point where you're basically needing to slow down so you can really focus on yourself. And I do feel like this energy is really getting you to focus on yourself because the more you focus on yourself, the more you can transform and get through this energy. So you guys might be feeling really flighty, kind of a bit unstable, unsure. Um, Garnet's a really, really good grounding crystal. And also with the self-worth in the reverse, I do feel like your next big accomplishment, next big blessing is you are coming out of a transformational phase or you're transforming into a new you. And I feel like we're gonna get a little bit more detail on this in the next cards because I feel like this is a really big lesson for you. I do feel like for you, it's really getting space for yourself and you guys might be in possibly a toxic relationship or something that really doesn't suit you in terms of a connection or something that's possibly a little bit toxic. But you are basically, this is the goddess of space. So I do feel like you are creating space. You might be moving space. You might feel like changing things around in your space. So that will help with this transformation. So let's have a look at the next cards. Let's go with these two here. Okay, so we have allowing and we also have North Node Destiny. Well, that's really beautiful. So I do feel like for you guys, it's really transforming your energy. And with this, this is your destiny. You're allowing your destiny to come in because don't shove this to the back burner. This is your time to shine. This is your time to put yourself first. And for you guys, you might be very sensitive to the moon. Your energy might be very sensitive. Your emotions might be very sensitive. So if you are feeling sensitive, make sure to give yourself some space, some time, and also do what you're really passionate about. I think this will bring in this new big blessing for you. And your self-worth is not depending on other people, other things, your diet, your food. 
food can be all consuming you know we can be very addicted to sugar we can be very addicted to alcohol co- uh, caffeine you know all that jazz and we might not even realize it so maybe just taking a step back and thinking is there anything i need to improve on and if not maybe i'm just in a really transformative phase and when i come out of this i'm gonna really be my eyes are really going to be open to the new possibilities and i think you're seeing the world in a different way you're seeing yourself in a different way and this is definitely a cycle you're going through guys you may have your birthday coming up very soon as well like i see like a whole year cycle coming in uh, but definitely some learning coming in for you you possibly might be going into school and learning something new or you might be thinking about it or actually just learning something new you might not actually be going to school for it so i'm hearing that's what i go to school for isn't that for bu- busted or something i don't know what that what that song's about really but okay so beautiful we have some lovely energy here so you could be attracting an aries into your life i do also see that you may be a little bit confused on your path right now you might be wanting to start something new in your life you might want to be starting a new endeavor with work and you're just not too sure what's happening with that and in terms of those of you who are scared of your life path not turning out right or anything like that you guys are really working your destiny okay so this is going to come in really beautifully <coughs> sorry guys my heart my chest really hurts right now so i feel like for a lot of you guys are really struggling with your heart chakra or struggling to kind of figure out what you're passionate about you will have lots of options the best thing for you to do right now is you are in the moon phase i feel like a lot of you guys are some of you guys might be in the moon phase some of you guys might be in the emperor phase and the moon phase is really making me feel that you guys are in a very deep emotional subconscious energy and you're moving through that subconscious energy so you might be realizing things about other people and you may be a little bit stuck you may also be realizing things about your work life and you may be changing that uh for those of you who are in the emperor phase or you and those of you who are in the moon phase you will be moving forward to the emperor phase those of you in the emperor phase you're really gaining control and you're you're getting a grounded more yeah grounded energy i really feel like the heart chakra is coming in for you guys very strongly so definitely quite insecure about your path going forward you're really like confused about okay where's everything going i'm a bit confused i don't know what to do you will go inward and you will figure out what it is and i think for a lot of you guys it's definitely your life purpose and also your career they could be separate they could be the same thing but with the hermit and the moon these two are making me realize that you found something out about your life that you really want to change you're starting to change it you're a little bit scared about the new start maybe needing to go inward and think about it but actually someone might actually help you with this too you might be manifesting an earth sign or a fire sign or you may have an earth or fire sign around you who's assisting you with this new endeavor or maybe assisting you in the new endeavor in the future who's helping you to kind of find the light and find your light thing that you're really really passionate about okay and this is very very precious this feels like a very big energy and this is a big blessing reading so i wouldn't expect anything else i mean this is really really beautiful especially with the hermit because i can see there's so much potential of like oh my god i never realized it about this person or i never realized it about my life and then you're really creating space for that and it's just really beautiful the, the king of pentacles is so nice especially with the emperor here as well because it's showing me that you're going inward stable energy confusion inward stable energy and i don't feel like there's any more confusion afterwards i think it's just basically this is transformation right here it's all through and through transformation so i really feel like you guys are manifesting your life purpose and i'm getting really hot as i'm tuning into this energy and normally when i get really hot it's when when people are meeting their soulmates when they're meeting like their new first love that they've wanted to meet for millions of years or you know it depends on reincarnation what you believe in but this is definitely somebody you wanted to meet for like a past life so it could from a past life so it could be somebody who's your uh a boyfriend i'm hearing just boyfriend straight up i'm just hearing the word boyfriend um it could be a friend as well i'm hearing a neighbor could be a neighbor as well so maybe when you move if you move house this could be a neighbor this could be somebody you're really close to it doesn't have to be a relationship but can be someone you're very close to so lots of blessings for you guys really really big energy very powerful keep doing what you're doing guys you're doing absolutely amazing thank you so much for watching and if you want to check out uh, any of my uh, reading rates all my private reading information is down below i'm doing still doing private readings so all the information is down below and if you would like to check out my online store all that information will be down below as well thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading so for you guys i did this for group number one i'm just going to tune into your energy and we're going to see what wants to come through so if you guys i feel like you're feeling quite peaceful i think the need for nature is so important right now so i think getting out of nature is really really important i'm seeing you guys kind of um, going on a path and you're kind of stepping on gravel 
and you're making sure it's not too loud for some reason so you don't wake up somebody or people so I feel like you guys are slowly coming onto your path or you're scared of doing the thing that you really want to do and scared of possible kind of uh, criticism from other people. I'm hearing closure as well. Lots of, people, lots of you are getting closure. This could be in a relationship. This could be in your relationships. This could be in your life in general, basically. And I feel like there's definitely a lot of support and you're going to get clarity. Clarity and closure is very big for you guys. So beautiful. Right, Angelite. Angelite is a really beautiful crystal, very good for your throat chakra, very supportive, very gentle. And then we also have, this crystal just absolutely fascinates me, um, Tourmalated Quartz. Get out of your own way. I feel like you guys really are on, on a path of self-discovery and on a path of, holy shit, I'm actually doing the thing. I'm actually doing the thing I've wanted to do for so long. Oh my God. And it could be like a really small thing, but actually to you, it's huge, you know? Um, and it could be a small thing to you as well, but actually once you get it out of the way, you're like, oh my God, I really should have done that like two years ago or something. So it could be something as small as changing up your diet, or that could be a big thing. It could be uh, changing your relationship with your partner. It could be like breaking up or getting together or... Um, for some of you guys, I feel like you're just clearing out the clutter. You're clearing out a lot of things out of your life. Um, I'm hearing clubbing as well. So clubbing, you might be able to do that once... Um, obviously once quarantine is all over but I do feel like clubbing is something you might like doing but also just dancing in, in particular and social gatherings I feel like is very important to you so I think you might actually realize a lot of things um and you might be around a new community as well that might be something that's coming towards you I do feel that very strongly so we have tantra wow a very strong energy and then we also have connection there we go beautiful as I said with connection this is a very strong energy and tantra is a very strong energy I actually get like a very sexual energy and I'm pretty sure this is about a sexual energy so let me just get this from the book so we can get a little bit more uh idea on what this is where are we tantra 83 so this is yoga 83 this is the balance of the masculine and the feminine beautiful so this is really really good so I do feel like for you guys massively massive change for you stepping into your power getting out of your own way which is beautiful moving past a dualistic mind that judges everything as right or wrong you are headed to the greater truth that comes from integration so it says are you judging yourself are you shaming are you suppressing any shadows shadow emotions such as anger sadness or loneliness the wounded masculine creates feelings of separation, increased ego, competitiveness and emotional attachment. The wounded feminine causes jealousy, gossip, low self-worth, need for external validation and manipulation. Take a moment to reflect what you are observing within and around yourself. Our external world is a reflection of our internal world, steering us in the direction we must examine and heal. This is basically saying, um, it says a mature masculine within you creates presence, focus, stillness and determination. The mature feminine within you results in creativity, flow, movement, sensuality and nurturing. Both genders require a balance of these two energies. Continue to invite all, in all aspects of yourself, your light, your shadows, your Shakti, your Shiva, your cognition and your intuition. This is really beautiful. So you're connecting both sides of you. And you're most likely going to be um, manifesting some really balanced relationships, uh, feminine or masculine, or, you know, the energies of feminine or masculine, uh, gender neutral. So I do feel like you are going to be manifesting somebody and it could be somebody who you talk to on the daily. I feel that very strongly and someone who's part of your daily routine. So it could be somebody at work. It could be somebody who you start to work with. And I do feel like collaboration is just very, very important for you guys. And that's coming in really strongly. So friendships and relationships coming in really strongly for you guys. So you could meet somebody who is far away. They could all just be also be a Sagittarius, Leo or Aries. Someone who's going to help you expand and also possibly be the opposite to you. They could also be the opposite zodiac sign. So say a Scorpio, the opposite of Scorpio is Taurus. So you get that sort of kind of balance. Both of you are going to balance each other out because you're opposite. You're going to teach each other something and you're both going to expand within who you are. And Jupiter is about travel and so is Sagittarius. So there's definitely something to do with travel here. And obviously travel is quite restricted, I guess, in the country that you're in. You could travel depending on, obviously, on the rules and things like that. But it does feel like something to do with expanding your mind around travel. So maybe you're talking to people online from different countries. You may meet a partner from a different country or maybe even meet somebody who has traveled a lot, who tells you a lot of tales and things like that around 
from around the world. There's just so much happiness. I love the, the a rainbow here as well. So I do feel like for each group, I feel like you guys are definitely going to get a lot of different blessings in one group. So I do feel like whatever resonates with you will resonate. Um, but there's definitely a lot of energy around meeting new people with this group. And we have the Page of Cups. So you could be meeting a Pisces who is very, very stable. Um, possibly somebody who's also an air sign. Somebody who's really good at communication. I knew it was about relationships, this group. Okay, so, and this is also group number two. And two is about duality. It's about masculine and feminine. It's about relationships, that kind of thing. This is beautiful. The lovers is so, 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 so nice. Okay, I am obsessed with the lovers card. It's one of my favorites. That and any, basically any water card. <laughs> Me being my Scorpio self. Can't help myself. So this is somebody coming in with lots of communication. So it could be a romantic relationship, could be a friendship, could be a co-worker, whatever you feel like is most resonating with you. But you, I feel like this is gonna be a surprise. I don't think you're gonna know who this is. I think this is someone brand new. I think this is also somebody, if they're not brand new, it's just someone who possibly could be more of a new relationship in terms of somebody you knew from the past who then you re reconcile with and then you come back together. But it's definitely like a, and then you kind of form a new relationship. This could even be you coming back with an ex, but this is definitely not a toxic ex. This is somebody that you most, most likely came apart because of external forces, not because of internal forces. And then you kind of come together. It's very synchronistic, very kind of, um, very, what's the word? Give me the word universe, synchronistic, very um, serendipitous, thank you. Um, needing to relax, needing to relax into this energy, knowing that everything is sorted for you, everything is going to be okay for you and everything is going to be at the right timing. So there's definitely some love coming in, I really feel that. Uh, about a month time for some of you guys could be very good for you. Summertime, July is really sticking out to me. It's like July, July. Um, yeah, and the sun is really showing me that it's going to be a time when it's quite hot um, in the country when you meet this person. I feel like you can meet them around water, but water could be quite important. So you may be kind of like cleansing yourself with water a lot in terms of like going to a beach, going to a river, a stream, walking along a river, that kind of thing. And I don't know if for some of you guys this is very random, but I'm picking up on the uh, scene. Is it from Bruce Almighty where he walks on water? The God, he walks on water. I'm getting that scene. So I don't know if that resonates with any of you guys. I'm also getting like divers, swimmers, synch synchronized swimming, that kind of thing. But yeah, very beautiful. I feel like I have so much to say about this group, but I don't know. I just have so much to say. I feel like the sun and Venus, they're saying the sun and Venus is coming together. Well, the sun is the masculine, Venus is the feminine. So I do feel like that's that energy of like both together. And also for you guys, I feel like getting out of your own way is kind of showing me that there may be a situation that comes up. And you're kind of like, oh, I don't know. But actually this person is going to communicate to you really well. And it's going to kind of push you to be like, no, this is a safe space. You can be, have a, you can have a good relationship with me. You know, you can have a good friendship with me. It's a safe space. And yeah, it's, it's really, really beautiful. Um, and also with a get out your own way, there may be something that's blocking you. You may feel blocked actually it might just be a little shift a little nudge and then boom it opens up for you it, it'll be in different ways for all of you guys but you're going to get a lot of support there's a lot of people who want to help and support you so that is your big blessing that's coming for you guys very soon i really hope you enjoyed this reading um if you would like to get a private reading all my information is down below as always and also if you want to get any jewelry crystal jewelry if you would per like to purchase any crystals then uh, all my information is down below. I have my Etsy shop is live now. So if you'd like to purchase anything, all my information is down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming up for you guys. So let's see what's intuitively coming in. So for a lot of you guys, you're getting chest pains. This is to do with your heart chakra opening. You could be getting back pain, hip pain, ankle pain. Um, I feel like a sharp shooting pain very random is going up your bum hole okay <laughs> and this is for those of you who are mainly female i feel like this could be a period symptom so just keep that in mind um maybe you get in your period soon i don't know for those of you who are women um babies might be quite important for you as well for some reason and i'm also feeling a someone coming in who's new who you may have a little bit of quite you're questioning them you're like i don't know if this is the right thing uh trust them uh trust your intuition trust yourself and also you're releasing a lot of the past. So just be really, really kind to yourself. You might have bouts of like crying, craving sugar, craving dairy, uh, especially cheese. I don't know why I'm getting cheese, but that's what's coming through. So let's get started with your reading. I'm also seeing sunflowers as a flower for you to look out for. 
we have bloodstone get up get moving beautiful so movement is really really important for you right now and let's see what your big blessing is so finding peace within so i feel like for you guys you've been feeling a little bit disconnected from yourself a little bit disconnected from people um and i think it's also to know that you may just need some time away from people you may just need some time away to think you may just need to go inward and really reflect because i do feel like there's a very strong energy of oneness coming in and you're really, really um, holding that space. So this is the solar plexus, I'm pretty sure. Um, and this is all about your feminine power, your inner power, your masculine power, your power from within, holding space. And we have a lot of red and um, kind of orange coloring. So I do feel like for you guys, it's really important for you to acknowledge your power and know you have everything within you to make any changes. And also to move, move your body, get up, move. Also, if you are watching this on your phone, then I'm seeing you putting your headphones in and walking around the house with this video playing. I know that sounds a bit weird, but if you feel the need to do that, go and do that right now. Because I feel like you need to walk, keep walking, keep moving, get that energy flying because you may feel a little bit stuck. So let me have a look at this card in a little bit more detail. And we're going to see what is coming through. So this is number 51. So some of you guys, I feel like a lot of you guys are actually teenagers who are watching this one. I'm not sure why I'm picking up on that, but that is what I'm picking up on. Uh, supporting your chakra, sacral chakra. I knew it was a sacral chakra. I should have said the sacral chakra. Yes, that is very accurate. So sacral, I'm going to say sacral and solar for you guys, because bloodstone really resonates with about three or four chakras most of the time. So with this is sacral and solar, I'm feeling and root chakra here, because this is um was came up came out uh in the reverse i feel like for you guys that the this is a chakra of creativity it's about pleasure it's about sensuality so this is basically saying to treat yourself like you would do a lover for you are life's greatest love so that's what it's saying this is also a time to focus on pleasure what makes you feel turned on and also we have this is a time to put your creative projects first the very ones you've had on the shelf for months this is also a time to work on shifting your relationship with money and see it as an energetic tool that can bring you great freedom when this is in the reverse it says to go back to those poems take out your old canvas begin singing again open up the cobwebs of your body and let shakti movement come through when you live a life you love abundance flows your way and pleasure follows suit has life gotten in the way of things, gotten in the way of the things you used to do that really lit you up? So basically, going back to what you really love, cr being creative, and I feel like the biggest blessing coming to, the, sorry, a big blessing that's coming towards you is connecting with yourself. And I feel like it's definitely something there that I'm not picking up on yet. So we're going to see what that is coming through. Definitely a lot of creativity for you guys. So complexity, and we also have Taurus. So this energy right here is showing me that you guys are becoming grounded. You guys might be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, you could also be an Aquarius I'm picking up on as well. Um, I feel like you're opening up like a flower. So I feel like you're finding peace within yourself and learning to not rely on other people. The sacral chakra is really important. I feel like the um, things to kind of shift, shift ugh, I can't speak, to shift your sacral chakra are doing um, sacral chakra poses. So you kind of lie on your back, open the legs and kind of like it, opens your hips so op hip opening exercises uh maybe doing some intimate things with yourself or with others in terms of like you know a partner um obviously within the friggin <laughs> guidelines that we've got going on at the moment um what else am i picking up on creativity is really important just letting your mind unwind that's what i'm hearing mind unwind and that is definitely a, a channel message because my, my guys love to rhyme i don't know why a guide rhyme okay um same thing I really feel like with the cobwebs thing, it's making me think of dream catchers. And I don't know why. So maybe you're going to get a lot of kind of intuitive hits in your dreams. Maybe ask your angels, show me what I need to learn or show me what needs to come up for me in my dreams. And then maybe you'll dream about what you need to learn. Obviously, if you've remembered that you've asked the question, because sometimes I do that and then I wake up and think, am I forgetting something? And then I actually ask myself a question the night before and I'm like, oh, I've now forgotten. <laughs> All right. So that is in the upright. And moving forward fearlessly moving forward with power moving forward to happiness all right so for a lot of you guys this is about self-worth this is about you really um giving to yourself and not giving to others this is a time to give to yourself not for other people 
basically what it's showing me is you're charging towards the three of swords which is beautiful can you see how they both got red in there definitely about you feeling safe within yourself as I, I think I said this for this group did I say it for this group that I said that you may be feeling tearful or crying because you're going through a lot of things that is this okay if I didn't say that I do feel like that's for you guys um make sure to drink uh, have herbs I feel like rosemary is a good one to have and also I'm hearing lavender is very supportive of, for your immune system I don't know why I'm picking that up but it's very good for your immune system also with the seven of pentacles it's like oh my god I'm so overwhelmed because I'm transforming boom then it suddenly hits you suddenly you get grounded because you have grounded everything into your body and then happiness sorry guys just burped as clarification um happiness oh, fulfillment happiness and I definitely feel like for you guys it's definitely a process I think your blessing is definitely so um I'm hearing surviving a process I feel like for you guys this could be a very deep process for others of you it's just very quick and then boom you've learned the lesson you're kind of realizing there may be a lot of things from my past definitely a thing of self-worth for you guys and it's really seeing things are being lit up for you the sun is really lighting things up so you may have the sun in like the first house so have maybe have a look at your birth chart and if you do have the sun in the first house what is, is there any other signs in your first house that's really kind of being lit up um or is there a significant um, house in your chart where your, your sun is maybe that'll give you an idea of what this is kind of going on it's definitely something being lit up so you can see it and that's definitely happening around the world as well so it's reflecting outwardly which kind of works like that you know but it's definitely finding peace within finding peace within yourself getting stable and get, having fun moving your body you know and it's funny how this is like a dancer because it's like get up get moving you know there's a lot of stuff that needs to be cleared bloodstone is all about clearing detoxifying so this is you detoxifying and then finding peace within because you've worked through that. And look how many elements there are in all of these crystals. So absolutely beautiful. So that is your blessing, guys. Really beautiful energy. And you got some really good things coming towards you guys. Absolutely beautiful. So I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. All the crystals you see here are on my website. So if you want to uh, purchase any crystals or crystal jewellery, all my information is down below in the description box. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. So intuitively, I'm picking up on that you're walking through a desert. Why, should, why are they walking through a desert? Uh, trying to find your purpose, trying to find your way, trying to get balanced, okay? Um, what else have we got? I'm seeing you on a skipping rope. You're skipping and you're really happy. I think you, you, you found, I'm hearing you found your soul, you found your purpose. So you really are looking for your purpose. Or you could just be enjoying life right now and really lapping up your purpose. Uh, definitely a masculine coming towards you guys. Definitely a partner coming towards you guys. Doesn't have to be a masculine. But it's really emanating in a masculine energy. All right. What have we got? Soothe your soul. Celestite. Lovely. Very, very gentle. And then we have Azurite. Get laser focused. Pretty much the opposite energy. Okay. So we'll have a look at these cards in just a moment. So we have Soothe Your Soul and Get Laser Focus. This is really, like a, basically I feel like is opposite energies. I think you are either soothing your soul right now or getting laser focused. I think you're possibly coming out of a time where it's been really rough and now you're having, you're kind of smooth sailing now. But also it could just be that you need some time away to think and have a break. Uh, the Azurite is showing me that you need to kind of focus on something and this might actually soothe your soul getting focused on something okay right let's see what else is coming through for you we have karma and we have forgive so it's definitely a lot of past energy here so we're just going to have a look into the book for karma and we're going to see what wants to come out if there's any extra messages that want to come out so this is number 23 which is also number five the sum of one's actions positive karma you have done a lot of good on this planet and the universe is rewarding you in her favours. Life feels a little easier, a little more colourful. So on the reverse of this, it's saying take a break from social media, television and social obligations. When did things begin, begin to become difficult? What, did you, what decisions did you make around the time? What alternatives could have been better suited for your, purpose, your sole purpose? State your commitment to surrendering, surrendering to your highest self and doing the work it takes to get there. Things will change as soon as you do. I think it's funny how it said about your life purpose because I was really picking it up for you guys. So for a lot of you, if you're struggling to find your life purpose, it is just an energy of forgiving. Forgiving the past, forgiving yourself, and also there may be a lot of energy coming up from the past. So I do feel like you're releasing that now 
and you're learning to be laser focused and just focus on yourself focus on your path not anyone else's focus on your path okay let's see what else is coming through ninth house seeking and we have cancer so really going into your energetic body so uh if you have a significant moon sign that really kind of uh is popping up for you at the moment it's really kind of getting triggered uh your emotional side really look after yourself and focus on the bigger picture you know possibly focus on journaling focus on um kind of anything that's kind of outward like Sagittarius energy that's very kind of like bigger picture things I feel like for you guys this is about you really being passionate about travel and I think I do see that coming for you in the future but also I do feel like a big blessing for you is that you may have learned a lot of things from traveling or you may be moving house quite soon um, and I think you're really kind of feeling that nostalgia around travel, um, wanting to travel. I feel like for you guys, you could be feeling a little bit moody at the moment and really need to take care of yourself. You could be attracting a Cancerian, Scorpio or Pisces, a water sign into your, into your energy. Whoops. Okay. Let's see what else wants to come through. There we go. There's that water sign energy coming in. Sayam. That is a lot of energy. Okay. I'm going to move, move. I'm going to need to move these cards over because they are... I'm running that room. This is so powerful, guys. I knew I needed to pull some tarot for these groups because I feel like there's so much um, of a story here. So, all right. Major, 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 huge, gigantic, major <laughs> breakthrough emotionally. Realising your purpose, knowing your worth, understanding that it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Your big blessing is happiness, fulfillment, love, possibly from a fire sign or water sign, getting balance within your work life, finding your purpose, really finding that. And you're going to have a sudden realisation about what you tolerate and what you don't. You're going to have a massive realisation about what you find is your happy place, what it makes you satisfied, what keeps you satisfied, who keeps you satisfied. Um, what is it that you need to improve on? I'm hearing what is it you need to improve on? And is there anything that you need to improve on emotionally? Are you feeling stable? Are you feeling safe? Are you feeling comfortable? And if you're not, then maybe you need to do some emotional fitness. I do have a video about this. I will link it down below, emotional fitness coaching. Um, really, really powerful. It's just a 20 second saying, very, very powerful to shift your emotions. And it's a really good manifestation tool because it can help you manifest things much quicker because you're not kind of pushing down emotions. All right. Could be an air sign coming towards you, specifically a male air sign. And you may be a bit confused about this because you're like, hmm, I'm not too sure. But then it's like major happiness. Could also be you're releasing an air sign. It could be releasing somebody who was negative, um, who was dominant, who was domineering. I'm hearing the word domineering. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing domineering. Sorry, my spirit guides like to rhyme. Uh, yeah, major fulfillment, major happiness. Um major breakthroughs major 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 breakthroughs so much happiness especially in work major fulfillment such amazing big things coming financially okay let's see uh what else wants to come through in the tarot i'm just going to pull a couple more cards and let's see what else wants to come through let's give these a little bit of a shuffle just going to clarify this king of wands all right all right, major breakthrough with what you're passionate about and finding someone you're passionate about, finding someone who really lights you up. Um, massive breakthrough in your love life. I'm just going to clarify the Ace of Cups and I'm going to clarify the Tower. So any emotion that you've been suppressing is really coming up. So you may feel like you need to go inward. Just roll with it. You can do this and you are definitely manifesting a partner. So whatever you're going through right now, if you are wanting to manifest a relationship, that is coming through very, very strongly, okay? Those of you who are not interested in a relationship, this is mainly about you understanding yourself, understanding that this is a process and it's all worth it and there's definitely some forgiveness coming in, forgiving yourself, forgiving your past and you're doing a really good job. Embrace, embrace some good feelings as well. If you haven't watched my emotional fitness video, uh, it's really, really good. Um, I mean, not to float my own boat, but the the saying that we, you say, the mantra, very, very good. It's very, very helpful. It's really helped me in my life. It's helped me to come more healthy mentally and to just slow down. You know, sometimes we just need to slow down. And actually, a lot of the time when I think I don't need to, I don't want to meditate, that is a time when you really should meditate, okay? 
Um, so it's kind of like even forcing yourself to meditate sometimes is actually very healthy because it's like, I'm going to do this for myself, you know, so major breakthroughs for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to purchase a reading, all the information is down below. If you would like to uh, purchase anything from my crystal shop, all the crystals here are ones you can purchase on my shop and I will be adding some more. So all my information is down below. You can also get your own custom jewellery made. I make these beautiful crystal bracelets, but it says on my fell. Um, they're all in different sizes. You can get any different crystal you would like. And if you can't decide on which crystal you want, then I can choose one for you for, any, for a certain purpose, that sort of thing. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.